Hey you crazy kids, it's me, I'm back, how's it going? My name is Brianna and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another like video where I like show you guys like something that I have multiple of. <laughs> so creative, I know. Um, but today's video is going to be, as you can probably tell by the title and the thumbnail, today's video is going to be my record collection. So... Love that, it was so awkward. Um, so, if for all of you who do not know, which is probably most of you, I have a record player. I got it for Christmas and it's my favorite thing. It's over there, I'll probably make footage of it later. <laughs> she's over there, she's beautiful, and I obviously have records for it. I've accumulated quite a few, and in today's video we're gonna go and look at all of them. So I'm just gonna show you the back. This is the basket I keep them in. I'm going to show you the back so you can't see any of the records. But here's the basket I keep them in. It's this basket I got from Home Goods. I'll take out the records just so you don't get like a spoiler. Hold on. This is like the basket I keep them in. It's like this rose gold basket that I got from like Home Goods. It was really cute. It was like five bucks maybe. And it's really cute. And I did buy it with the intentions of like my records fitting in it. But I was like, they probably won't fit. So I mean, if they do fit, that'll be great. But that's okay if they don't because I use it for something else. But they did just happen to fit perfectly. So it's really, really cute. I love it. So that's what I keep my records in. But. <laughs> but. Um, the actual records is where we're going to be taking a look at today. Um. But before we get into the video, I just want to show off my new laptop case that I got a couple days ago. I don't think I had it last time I filmed a video because I'm still editing the video, but it's going to be my phone case collection. So I'll put it up here, like in the iCards. I think the iCards are over here. Um, and if you guys are wondering why I never know where the iCards are, I know where they are on YouTube, but in the camera, sometimes the footage can be reversed. So if I put this hand up, to me, it's on like this side but in reality the footage in the footage is going to end up being on this side because it's not me it's like reversed almost so um in the iCards in the description if the video is up it probably will be up before this video but anyways um my new laptop case look at the gorgeous it's so pretty i love it i don't even think you can like see it through the camera i'm like so sorry that i'm so fidgety it is so hot in here i was like getting ready to film this video and well, okay, the lights were going weird. But, like, I was getting ready to film this video, and all of a sudden, it got so ridiculously hot in here. Like, I'm literally dying right now. But back to what I was talking about. Um, this laptop case, it's so cute. And see, there's the underside. I got this off of Amazon. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. They do have it in other colors, and I obviously got it in the rose gold pink because I love pink, and it's so cute. I just wanted to show that off. Um, but, yeah, um... Let's get started. <laughs> it was so awkward. I had like a whole thing I was going to say, but then I just like completely forgot what it was and I was like so weirded out. <laughs> but yeah, let's get started. Let's just get started, please, for the love of God. So here are all my records right here. I have not that many of them, but I still have quite a few considering I got my record player for like Christmas, which is like months ago. So, and I do have them organized alphabetically by the artist's first name. So I'm just going to go from the beginning of the alphabet to the last. So I think we'll get started on that. I'm just letting you guys know the order that it's going in. So the first one in my collection is, um, this was the very first one that I got on Christmas. This is the whole reason my dad got me a record player because I saw this at the store and I was like, I've always wanted a record player. And he was like, well, maybe you'll get it for Christmas. So here she is. It's the Billy Eilish Don't Smile At Me, and this is one of my favorite records just because the songs sound so great on a record player, and I absolutely love it. It sounds amazing, and the record is so cool. So this is a little sleeve that comes in, as you can see, and then the record is really, really cool. So, hold on. See, it's really cool. So this is side B, and then this is side A. So if you don't know how records work, there are little grooves. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but there are little grooves. Those grooves are when you drop the needle on the record player, how it plays the music. So side A has four songs on it and side B has different songs. So if you don't know how it works, basically side A is the first side, you let it play, and then the other side usually side B, but it might be side one or side two. It can also be side one or side two, but um, has 
different assortment of songs so also this little sleeve that they keep it in has like the lyrics on the back specifically on this one which i think is nice um but yeah this record's really cool and when my friend comes over and we listen to this because this is our favorite album she's always like that record's so cool and i'm like yeah i know i didn't even know it was gonna be this like awesome it's cool i hate putting records away though because like it's like i don't know it's just awkward I just tried to put it in for like a really long time to realize that I was putting it in the wrong way. That's why I couldn't do it. But yeah, other than that, don't smile at me. Really good album. Really recommend it. Got this at Target. The next record is another Billie Eilish record because, like I said, alphabetic from the artist's first name. So we have Billie Eilish. When we fall asleep, where do we go? Pretty sure that's what it's called. This I got at Barnes and Nobles. And it's kind of like in bad shape because when I saw this at Barnes and Nobles like the day after Christmas, it was like not in like a plastic wrapping. Like most of them are like just a like clear plastic wrapping. It was like this on the shelf. And we looked at it and the record was fine and the record works fine. It's just like maybe somebody bought it and like unwrapped it and maybe ordered it and then it wasn't what they wanted it to be. Or maybe they just returned it. I don't really know but kind of busted, I don't know why. But this one opens up, there's no two records in here, this part's flat, this one opens up and inside are all the lyrics to the songs, so I'll just hold it up, hopefully you guys can see. And then in this side is actually where the record is. So this little sleeve is, this sleeve is the most busted because like the seams are like, I don't know if you guys will be able to see, are like, they're just like the paint scratched off so and also there's like creases and here like i said this like came in the store like that i don't know i don't think that that's like the look that like billy was going for with this i just think that maybe somebody returned it or used it or and like and decided to return it or if like it got damaged in the store or something and the plastic was so damaged that they had to unwrap it but the record was fine and the record works fine the record's pretty cool but it's not the coolest one but here it is, it's a bright orange record. You guys can see my ring light. Hello, can you see my hand? Yes, you can, that looks terrifying though. With a little black circle in the middle and this is side A and then here's side B, both the stickers are the same. It's the same on both sides. This has quite a few songs on it, this record, because I don't know what's the maximum amount of songs you can have on each side of a record, but quite a few. Um, I, this is another album I really like from her. I show you like all the songs. Some of my favorite are Wish You Were Gay, You Should See Me in a Crown, and I don't remember the words, the names to all of them. I think that's probably it. Oh yeah, and When the Party's Over, that's what it was called. I was like forgetting what it was called, so I was trying to look at the names so I could see. And I was like, hmm, where can I put a lyric to a name? I don't know, a lyric to a name. Um, I, it, why is it so hot in my room? I have turned my ceiling fan up to like almost maximum and it's still so hot in here. It's never this hot in my room. And I mean, I live in New England and it's like the middle of January. It's the middle of February right now. And it's like hot in my room. And the fireplace is on downstairs, which means that it should be cold in here. But I was getting ready to film and all of a sudden it was like ridiculously hot in here. And I do not know why. Jesus Christ. The fan up to maximum, so hopefully that helps. But I hate when I'm like, I mean, I love like the heat and I hate, would prefer to be warm than cold, but I hate when I get sweaty sometimes, especially in my face because it bothers me so much. But back to what we're looking at. This is a very cool record and I like the writing on here. I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but it looks like it was like scratched in by somebody, like it was written by somebody, which I think is a really cool thing. So yeah, don't know why this one's so busted. The record works fine. I'm sure it's just the packaging. I'm sure it happened when it was shipping to the store. Oh yeah, also this is like ripped, but it came like that when I bought it at Barnes and Noble. And at the store, my mom saw that it wasn't wrapped and she was like, you might just want to check to make sure it's not all scratched because then it won't work. And it works perfectly fine. I'm sure it's the packaging. I'm sure it got damaged while it was like shipping to the store and the plastic was so ripped that they just took it off. But maybe somebody pre-owned it. I don't know, but great album. Moving on to the next one. Now we're moving on to H for Halsey, um, which um, recently revealed to the public that she is pregnant, by the way. So congratulations. So congratulations on that. Very, we are all very excited for you. Um, this is one that I got at the same time as I got that Billie Eilish one. And I think I have every Halsey album except for one on a record. <laughs> this is Halsey Hopeless Found Kingdom. And this is also the coolest like actual record that I'll show you guys in a second. But, and here's the back. So this is just the album cover. And then this is the back. 
pretty normal and it was like messing with me with these like pieces of tape and like this little rip here and I was like whoa what's wrong with it and then I was like oh wait this is part of the design so yeah that kind of messed with me this is another one like the Billie Eilish one that opens up and then there's an image inside there's a beautiful picture of her and I think that that picture goes well with the album. There's a little piece of tape across it. There's nothing in here, but there is something in here. So here's the little sleeve that it comes in. On the back, there's the names of the songs and all the lyrics of the songs. And on the front, it's just a thank you note for helping her with this album. And it talks about how much fun Ashley was to work with. And if you don't know, Hull Ashley is Halsey's real name, fun fact. But this is my coolest record, and I love it, and all my friends love it when I show it to them. Are you guys ready? It's so cool, isn't it? I brought home this record. My favorite part about buying records is that when you get home, you don't know if the record's going to be like plain black or cool. I only have one record in here, like one album that has just black records. But like, you don't know what the record's going to look like, unless if you bought it like online and it shows it. But you don't know what it's going to look like until you bring it home, which is I think my favorite part. And I brought this home when I opened it, and I was like, whoa, this is so cool. It had It's a clear... And it has blue splatters coming from the middle, and then it has a yellow sticker in the middle. This is side B, and this is side A. So cool. It looks so cool. It's awesome. I want to know how they made this. I really wonder, like, how they made this. It looks so cool. I should, like, look up on the internet, because I get, like, videos in my recommended, because I always have to look up, like, how to change your needle, how to clean your needle, stuff like that. And there, there's always like videos where I recommended like how records are made, but I never click on them. So maybe I should watch them. I bet they'd be really cool. Maybe I can react to it on my channel. I don't know if that'd be like an interesting video. Um, probably not, but if that's what you want to see, let me know in the comments down below. The next H is another Halsey, and this is the Halsey Badlands. This is one of my favorite albums of all time. So there are two versions of Badlands. There is the this one and then there's the special edition which i did not know when i purchased this i bought this online along with another one which is going to be our last one um because i know the order that he organized these in um but it doesn't have like gasoline and what all, what other ones doesn't it have um and there are other songs that i really liked and that i really wanted to hear on a record player on a record and then it got here and i was like wait why aren't these songs on here i was like listening to it and i was like i want to listen to gasoline so like i know how to like play specific songs on a record as like it tells you the order so i'm looking and i'm like why is it not here so i look it up and it's only in the special edition apparently which i have not know which is why it's not on here but that's okay i still really like it so here's the album cover and then here's the back and it says the track list and this one's interesting because it says how long each song is and i guess that's just the style that she wanted to go for she's very good at like keeping with the styles of her album covers i will say and this one is my favorite picture because all of her records are like this, where they open up to an image. This is my favorite one. It looks really, really cool. The blue hair. Love the blue hair. I wish I could pull off colored hair, but I couldn't. And then here is the inside. It says Badlands. And then this is a thank you note and her inspiration for the album. And then on the back, it's the names to all the songs and the lyrics to the songs. And then this one is pretty cool. It has, it's a like sky bright like neon sky blue is that how i could describe this in my mirror i'm looking at my vanity mirror and i can see from what i have on my vanity mirror that in real life under the lights like on camera it's pretty accurate to how the color looks but underneath the lights in real life it's like dulling down the blue and making it look a little bit more like dull and dingy but like when i look at it in real life not underneath the lights the camera is picking it up pretty accurately so that's pretty weird but this is how it looks in real life pretty close a little bit more green but pretty close so it has this pink like this like purpley pink i would describe it as to match like the little inside of this uh, as the sticker and then i really like it when the records i don't know if you'll be able to see because i don't know if i'll be able to see that you guys can see but i like when the records say the songs on there so that way i know what song i'm listening to and i can know the order so that way i don't have to go back to like the cardboard to know what song i'm playing or what song i want to play i can just like look at the record but um i really like that so then it says halsey badlands this is side a this is side b they're both the same and then there's this beautiful blue record so i really like that um and i was very curious as to what this one was going to look like um because this was my second halsey one 
No, it was not my second Halsey one. I ordered it before I got the next Halsey one, but it didn't come at the same time. But I still really liked it because I was curious how this one was going to look because all of her records look pretty cool. And I was saying like how much when I opened it and I was saying this picture and I was like, love the blue hair. And I was like, the record's blue like her hair. Oh my goodness. So amazing. But yes, very good album. Both me and my friend really, really love this album. And yeah. Got this at Target Online, by the way. I already saw where I got all the other ones, right? I got the Billie Eilish one I showed and then the Hopeless Fountain at Barnes & Noble. This I got online at Target. All right, this is the final Halsey one here. This is, again, one of my favorite albums. This is Halsey Manic. And this is a really good album. So this is the front. The front is just the album cover. And then the back is really cool. And it kind of confused me because the back usually tells you what songs are in what order they're in. But I don't know if I'll be sure. I might have to stand up. Do you see that? Where A07? So that's telling you that it's the seventh song on side A. But like it's still kind of confusing because they're not like in any sort of order. They're kind of mixed around, which I guess is cool. But like it's a little bit confusing. So I have to look at it and then I have to be like, okay, so A. And then I have to count the grooves and be like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Drop the pin there. So, you know, if you know how to like play a specific song on a record, you know what I mean. Um, but this one, like I said, is like all her other ones. This one is like the most confusing picture. It's just like a very up close of her face sweating. And the other side is just black. Very interesting, but still pretty cool. This one does not have a little fancy insert. It has one of these like paper inserts. And I hate these paper inserts because they're impossible. And then this one is a pretty cool record too. It's not exactly clear. It's kind of like an off-ish clear color. You know what I mean? It's not like exactly a clear color. It's still pretty cool. And then the label kind of matches the record and then it says Manic and then this is side B and then this one is side A. That one's pretty cool. But yeah, I hate these like plain paper inserts because it's not like shiny and smooth like the other ones. It's just like regular paper and it tends to like stick to the, um, to the thing, to like the holder. So it's like impossible to put on. Yeah, this is definitely not her coolest one. The Helpless Found one is the coolest, but this one is still pretty cool. Oh, and this one, actually. Wait, this one is, like, very interesting because it has, um, hold on. It came with, like, this little, like, poster thing. It's actually pretty cool. So this is the back of it, and then there's, like, a thank you, and there's a bunch of pictures of her, and then this is the front. It's just manic. It's actually pretty cool, and I kind of want to, like, hang it up in my room, maybe, like, in my background somewhere, but I haven't found a place for it yet. I might just keep it in here. It came with that. Like, I, when I pulled that out, I thought it was, like, the little case for the record, and then I was like, wait, there's no record on it. It's just a piece of paper. And then I looked in there, and then the record was in there. So I was like, oh, thank God. I thought that I just, like, bought it, and it was in the plastic wrapping. So I was like, someone, no, someone could have not stolen a record out of a plastic wraps like thing right and then I was like you know I was right <laughs> but yes I got this at Barnes & Noble in um, Burlington because um, those other ones I got at Barnes & Noble was in Danvers but I was going to the Burlington Mall with my sister and my mom and there was a big Barnes & Nobles on our way out so we decided to stop by so and I went right into the record section it was huge and this is one of the ones that I found so I got this at the Barnes & Noble in Burlington the next section is M, and I only have one in M. This is Melanie Martinez. I also got this at the Danvers in Burlington, and I saw it across the way, and I was like, this is her new album. And here's the thing is, I usually won't buy a record if I haven't listened to it yet, because records are kind of expensive, and if I end up, and I haven't listened to it yet, and then I end up not liking it, I just like wasted money. But I hadn't listened to this yet, and I was like, I want to buy it. So while I was walking around with it in my hands, I listened to it, and I quite liked it. And I already had heard a bit of the songs on her Instagram, but I hadn't checked out the full album. But I did like it, so I bought the record. It's pretty cool. And I tend to like these records better, because this record doesn't open up. It just, like, opens up the side. It doesn't, like, open up like a book. These ones are flatter and easier to store, so I tend to like these ones a little bit better. Um, but this one's pretty cool. So this is the front. This is the album cover. Barry Melanie Martinez very much her personality, very different. And I think this one is supposed to be kind of like a continuation of the K through 12. I've not found that in her record yet. I don't know if they make it in one. If they do, please let me know in the comments or let me know on Instagram or whatever. Um, but I don't think that they make that, but like the K through 12 is like kindergarten through 12th grade and this is like after school. So I think this is supposed to be like a continuation. I don't know a lot about this album, but this is the back. Again, very Melanie Martinez. It's the camera, like, little boxes focusing on her face. I just thought that was funny. But yes, and then it has all the songs. 
And then here's the record, and actually, attention to detail for this one. Because when I opened this up, you guys probably won't see it. There's like beautiful clouds, so I thought that was cute that they put that little detail inside something that you probably won't even see. I really liked that. So this one is actually very nice. This isn't one like a little flimsy other ones. This one is actually very sturdy. And this is side A, and if you look closely, this writing tells you like all the songs on it in order, which is different. I don't have any other record like that. And then it does the same thing for side B. This is what the record looks like. Pretty similar to the Halsey one, except a different shade of blue. And so this one is super cute. It's a light shade of blue and then has a pink one and then it says side A and there's a little heart and it's the same thing for side B except it says side B obviously. So yeah, pretty cool. This doesn't have that many songs on it. I think this one, hold on, let me see. So this one only has four sides, side A only has four and then B only has three songs. So there's not too many songs and I wasn't gonna get the record because there weren't that many songs on it and I was like, is the album not finished? And I was like, well, they wouldn't have made a record out of it if it wasn't finished. So I decided to get it. But pretty cute and I don't listen to this one often and I actually because and I honestly should listen to it more but I have a fun story for this when I buy records and I bring them home I test them out immediately to make sure there's nothing wrong because if there's something wrong I want to return it so if it's like scratched or it's warped I want to make sure that nothing's wrong so I always test it right away and I open it when it opens this, it sounded weird. It sounded like it slowed down. So I changed the pitch and it didn't do anything. And I thought that there was something wrong with it. And my dad was like playing around with it. And then there was like a little switch like on the little like thing that moves up and down. I'll show you guys when I show you guys the record player in a second um, after we do look at all the records. But there was a switch to like change the speed and that's what you needed to do. But he was like, are you sure this is the right person? And I was like, yes, this is the right person. But we were like weirded out because I, we were like, why is it like so slow and the changing the pitch isn't working? But you just had to change the speed on it and it worked fine. So I'll show you guys what I mean when I show you guys the record player in a minute. But little tip, you got to change the speed with a little switch. If you have a record player, you know what I'm talking about. It's right near the arm. There's a switch that has the different numbers of speeds. And that's what you gotta do for this one. But if your record, your record player is probably different than mine. So if you do get this one, just play around with it a little bit carefully, obviously, so that way you don't mess up the settings and like not be able to change them back. But of course, play around with it because the settings for yours might be different than mine. The next one that I have here is, this is definitely like very different from all of mine. And I got this at the same time when I was at Burlington at the, bleh, I was at the Barnes & Noble in Burlington. This is Beauty and the Beast Disney soundtrack. Now I know this probably doesn't like seem like something I would purchase, but this was like $17.99, so that's actually pretty good for a record. And this was, the songs in this movie were so beautiful. And I was like, you know what, I'll splurge on it. It's pretty cute. So this is the front, like this, and this is the back. And I did forget to mention, this is the last section, and this isn't like an artist section, this is just movie soundtrack. So the next one, two, not including this one, because there's two more after this one, are going to be movie soundtracks. So that's my last little subject, but yes. And then this one doesn't open up fancy, this one just opens up normal. These stupid paper inserts that I hate. I'm getting used to them though, but like when they're brand new, they're so harsh. Um, but here it is, it's very beautiful. It's kind of see-through too, which is weird. It's not like completely like colored. It's kind of like a see-through transparent, but it's a royal blue. And this is side, this one doesn't say side B and side A. This is what I said in the beginning where it can be side one or side two. This is a side, this is side one, and then this is side two. See here we have them. Beautiful royal blue, so pretty. And this has a lot of songs on it. And I actually listen to this more often than I thought it was going to because the songs in this movie are just so beautiful. And I was like, you yeah, know what? I must do it. So, yes, I really enjoy this one. So, this one's a pretty cool one. This one was like, this one I think is my cheapest one. But yeah, I think it's because it's a Disney one, so it's like not that good at all. <laughs> This was like alone by itself on like a random shelf and I was like, hey, let's do this. Yeah, that was this one. Then next one that I have is another movie soundtrack. And this one is the biggest one that I have because it has multiple different records in it. This I got at Barnes & Noble in Danvers along with the Halsey one and the Billie Eilish one. And this is the Suicide Squad, the album. Now the Suicide Squad movie. 
I did not see it when it came out. I begged, like I begged my mom to let me see that movie. I think it was like nine. It came out in like August, right? So I must have been like nine or ten. And I begged my mom to let me see that movie because the entire school was seeing that movie and they were like, oh my god, it was kind of not good. <laughs> and then I was like, well, I want to see it. And I begged my mom to let me see it. And I didn't know that movie ratings were a thing at the time. So she was like, no, I'm not letting you see it. And I was like, why? And she was like, because no. And then when I was 13, I realized, like, I got, like, a Harley Quinn video, and I love Harley Quinn, so, and I was like, that's right, I think, and I love Margot Robbie, by the way, which is who plays Harley Quinn, and I was like, that's why I really wanted to see it, and I saw, like, a Harley Quinn video, and I recommended it with, like, Harley Quinn as the thumbnail, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna watch it, so I went on YouTube, and I bought the movie, um, and then I bought the movie and then I watched the movie. I watched the extended cut. I haven't seen the original, I've only seen the extended cut. And the movie itself, I thought, was okay. It wasn't the greatest thing. I think that it made so much money because people expected so much more. And I personally expected so much more from the trailers and I was very excited for it. And it was a little bit of a letdown, but it was still okay. It wasn't the greatest. There is that new one coming out though. I'm sorry. <laughs> My camera cut me off just then, like I was just in the middle of like talking and then it was like movie recording stopped, you've reached your limit. <laughs> it was like a half an hour piece of footage, but anyways, this is going to be a long ass video. Enough talking about the movie. The soundtrack, I did like quite a bit. There were some very good songs and I thought that the cast, and it did actually win an Oscar, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if it won or if it was just nominated um, for like costume and makeup. I'm I'm pretty sure in 2016. Um, Margot Robbie's dress in 2016, gorgeous. That looked amazing on her. I loved that dress. But this is the album. I liked the album a lot more than I liked the movie. I thought that the album was pretty bomb. Was pretty bomb, especially in comparison to the movie. So this one does open up and there's little like skeleton versions of all the artists, just like how in the movie they did skeleton versions of all the characters. They, um, these are skeleton versions of all the artists featured. This is probably like, it's probably like the cardboard covering on my mouth probably makes my voice sound weird, but all the artists who are in this album, and this one actually does have two on each side. So here's one side and then here's the other side. There are so many records in here. So there's not so many, there's two. So this is the first one. I'm pretty sure which one has side A and side B. I want to do it in order. I think that that's this one because I felt the poster in the other one. So now this one, this one with the paper inserts is impossible to get out. I swear to you, it's impossible. So this is the one that I spoke of earlier. Why was that in there upside down? Um, where it has black records. And I was very surprised because I figured Suicide Squad would have like very like cool records, but no, they're just black, but that's okay. So nice and like original and sweet. So this is black, the middle thing is pink. This is side A, this is side B. Nothing we're going to talk about here, it's just a black record, but still pretty nice, and there are quite a few songs on these records. Like I said, the paper inserts in this one, like, specifically, are impossible to get in. Like, impossible. But I think this one is also, like, the cream of the crop. Like, I think this one is my most expensive one. I don't remember how much it was because I didn't buy this one. I was at the store with my dad and he bought them for me, so I don't know how much this one was, but I know that it was the most expensive because it has a million different records. Now the next one um, has a poster and just like the Halsey one, and I'll show you guys the poster in a second. But this is the next one. I'm not going to take out the record just because it looks just like the other one. Actually, wait, yeah, I am. Because this is side C, and then on the back, there's nothing on the back. It just says Suicide Squad, and I actually have a funny story relating to that. So I didn't even get to show you guys the back of this. So the, here's the album cover and then here's the back. It has all the songs. And as you can see, all the bottom here, it says side D, etching, not in film. And I was like, you know, and then I was looking at it and I was like, you know, I don't know how I play this song on here. And I don't want to try because I'm worried I'm going to scratch it. So how do I play the song on here? And then I'm looking at it one day and I was like, you know, it's weird that they didn't put the artist name next to that song, like all the other ones. And it's also weird that I don't know how to play this one. There's just like an engraving or like an etching on here. And I was like, oh, etching. I told my boyfriend about this and he was like, oh my god, I didn't realize it either. It means etching, like this is an etching. Like this is like a design. This is what they spoke of. And what confused me the most with this is that it said not in film as if it were like a song they just didn't include. 
and I was like mind blown and I told my boyfriend about this and I was like and he was like oh my god I would have never realized that and I was like yeah I know I thought he was gonna make me feel stupid like he usually does but no he agreed with me on this one so let me you guys know let me know in the comments you guys if you guys would have done the same goddamn thing if you guys would have thought that it was like a song and you would try to figure out how to play it and then realized I don't know why they said not in film. They could have just said like engraving or like something normal that made sense. So weird. Um, and as I said, this one has a poster in it, like the Halsey one, so I'm gonna show you guys that one. So here it is. It's just like, I think this is like the poster that they had in my movie theater when it came out. I do remember when it came out. It was in 2016, so it was five years ago. Ooh. I feel like, it, no. Yeah, that was like five years ago, Jesus Christ, time passes. Because Margot Robbie was 25 in this movie and she's 30 now, so yeah, yeah. And then on, so this is a little poster. So this was the poster that they used at my movie theater and then it said Suicide Squad on it. And then this is the back with all the lyrics of the songs. So that's the Suicide Squad one. The last record of my collection is my prized possession. And this one I ordered online at Target at the same time of the Halsey one. And this is the Birds of Prey final, my baby, of the collection. So this one has a different packaging because it has like a clear packaging because the front of it is like, the, the record is like the album cover. It's so you can see it. So this is the front of the record. And then there's like all these pictures around it. And then this is the back that has all the songs. The back looks really, really cool. And I got this, I don't remember how this was, but I know they ordered it online at Target at the same time as the Halsey one. And I normally don't like these kinds of packaging. It's just not as good for the record. I just don't like this kind of packaging. But I actually have really kind of grown into it. And I like that you can see it. So this one is side A. It has the Birds of Prey album cover and then the beautiful Margot Robbie in form of Harley Quinn on the cover. And this is also the movie poster. This is not the movie poster they had up at my movie theater, but this is the most popular one I saw floating around when the movie was first coming out. And then we have on the back a different image. This is side B. This one is the whole squad. Black Canary, um, Montoya. I'm really good with names, but I forget this kid's name. What was her name? The kid who, like, stole the diamond? Did she even have a name? And now that I think about it, I don't think that she had a name. No, she had a name. I just don't think that, like, we reference the name in this story. But she had a name. She had a name. Now, like, I know that she had a name, right? But they never called her by her name, but she had a name. Cassandra Crane, that's what it was. Cassandra Crane. They did call her by her name, and I was trying to think of the movie, and I was thinking of the scene where she, where Harley goes into the police station. She's like, where can I find Cassandra Kane? So yeah, Cassandra Kane. I forgot her name for a split second. I'm normally very good with names. And then we have um, the Huntress, and then we have the lovely Harley and Bruce. And then they're like sitting on the couch and there's like her hammer and there's a grenade down there and then it says Birds of Prey, the album in yellow this time. And there's that lovely diamond background and it's really, really cool. This has so many songs on it and I love every single song in this album. I love all the artists in this album, such amazing artists. And I love that they're all women and I love that this movie empowered female filmmaking because it was all females. It was directed by a female, it was produced by a female, that female's Margot Robbie and that that female who produced is Margot Robbie and the director is Kathy Ann and it was an all female film and I think that's so inspiring that it was a female filmmaking film because there are not a lot of movies that are completely females. I don't think that there's any and there are very few movies that represent female filmmaking so I think that's awesome. Great intentions behind this movie. And if you guys want to see what it looks like without the record in it, I'm going to be very careful because the record's only loud and I don't want it to fall and get scratched. But there's lyrics to all of the songs, so I'm just going to name all the artists in the songs here for you. Macy Peters, Lauren Jagis... I cannot pronounce her last name, but she was the Lauren who was in Fifth Harmony. Um, there's CYN. And then there's Journey Smollett Bell. Halsey. Halsey was in this one. Halsey's song was one of my favorites. Um, Summer Walker, Adana, Juice Fruit, Kay Flack, Sophie Turn, Sophie Tucker, I think that's how you say it, Sweetie and Galextra. I probably cannot pronounce most of these, but I'll put them up here if I'm pronouncing them wrong. Um, Doja Cat, Whipped Cream, Featuring Baby Goth, Megan, Megan The Stallion and Normani, Charlotte Lawrence, and I think that that's all of them. So those are all of the artists in here. And my favorite is Boss Bitch, Jokes on You, and... 
Maisie Peters and the Maisie Peter and Maisie Peter, which is called Smile. So those are some of my favorite songs in this album, but all of them are my favorite, let's be real. But yeah, I really wanted, like I've said in my previous videos, I really inspired to be an actress. It's like really the only thing I think I want to do, which is not like a good thing, but then again, it's what I want. And I want to be just like Margot Robbie one day. I aspire to be just like her. Um, although I don't think I could probably match her talent and her beauty, but I want to be as close to her as possible. But I also want to be myself as well. But you know, she's just a great person and she's one of my biggest idols for a long time. She's amazingly talented. And I think that Birds of Prey is actually, yes, Birds of Prey, I found out yesterday, is nominated for an Oscar. It won like, I think it won like the, um, IMDb award for like the most popular superhero movie and this is nominated for an Oscar for the same Oscar that Suicide Squad was recommended for was nominated for I don't know if it won or not, but it's um, nominated for Costume and makeup and special effects, which I think it totally earns. I think it earns more than that, but um, I still think that's awesome and I think Golden Globes it had some nominations Yes I don't really remember right now, but I don't know if Margot Robbie is going to get an Oscar for um, being in this movie. I know that there, when Margot Robbie was getting a Best Actress Award for either Golden Globes or the Oscars or some other award. I'll put it right up here if I can remember because I know I have like a screenshot of it. But yes, not only for an Oscar, so I really hope it wins. I will be watching the Oscars this year and I really hope that they do the Oscars this year because I enjoy watching the Oscars every year. But yes, that's the final one. That was a long ass video. <laughs> my voice hurts so much and it like split my footage into two files and it's like over 30 minutes of footage. So that's gonna take me so long to edit and there's also like stuff to cut out too so it'll end up being shorter, but still. Long ass video, my voice hurts, I'm tired and I like wanna take a nap. <laughs> I'm so tired. Like I love filming but like Filming doesn't love me is what I'm trying to like I love filming but filming does not love me Um, anyways, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video Um, please th please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed Um, leave a comment down below Letting me know what you thought of this video Like, you know, anything Whatever the hell you want, whatever the hell you feel Let me know in the comments Also, be sure to follow me on my socials On my Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter And please subscribe to this channel Please subscribe to this channel to support me and my new channel here on YouTube. It would mean the absolute world to me. I probably don't deserve it. If you don't want to, it's fine. I understand. I'm very annoying. <laughs> I'm very annoying. I love that I'm like failing my sales pitch. Um, but please subscribe. And while you're down there, please hit the notification bell. So you can get roughly notifications roughly every time I post. YouTube. I'm looking at you, YouTube. <laughs> roughly every time I post and as always I really hope that you crazy kids enjoy this video and I'll see you crazy kids on the other side of YouTube. Bye. Okay first things first it's really windy today so I'm sorry if you guys can hear the wind but I did have footage of me showing you guys my record player but the audio was like super weird and it just didn't turn out as good as I wanted to so if you guys want like an actual video of that maybe like a part two of this please let me know and I really hope that you crazy kids enjoy this video. Also, sorry for the weird cut in the outro. I, like, messed up my um, outro for some reason. But I love you all, and I love you all so, so much. And I will see you all next time. Bye!